Um, and Aimer with a third place finish. Really great showing at Wednesday Night Fights oh, yeah. tonight. Uh, unfortunately going down 3-0 to Sweet Tea there. Uh-oh, I was wrong. Oh. We do get the Joker. Nice, I like it, I like no, it. I like it too. I actually think um, it's smart yeah. because not Jake already tried his main, yes. so now um, Mr. E, who's also not come, come, like, used to Joker yet, they're kind of both getting this like, all right, it's like a whole exactly. new matchup here. They both have to play much more carefully. It's uh, automatically demands respect when the character is so new that you don't quite know how to punish wow. or what like options the character has. Wow. Wow, up smash. Beautiful up smash. Get out of here. Sweet Tea just threw Taunt it out. On Let's him, go. Taunting on him. Yeah, trapping him uh, with the landing on that left hand platform, catching the up smash. Okay, and like he's that. he's working on some extra percent right here. Uh oh, is he gonna be able to recover using his double jump and the grappling hook? Oh, okay. So he was he air dodging downwards or was no, he using the he gun? He was using the gun, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Smart. Interesting, yeah. It kind of pushed them uh, horizontally a little bit. It was I had something I had yet to see from other players. Nice tech. Or from Joker in general. Yeah, no, that's definitely something that uh, we haven't gotten to see tonight. But cool. I like it. It's definitely mixing up uh, the options off stage as well. And um, honestly, this is going better uh, for Sweet Tea here than yeah. it was uh, when he was playing him in uh, Waves. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, Jake or Sweet Tea, excuse me, is at the dis almost at a disadvantage because he's not used to the character um, himself while uh, Mr. E is used to uh, his Lucina, own character, yeah, his right. own. But like I was saying, this unfamiliarity with the matchup uh, for Mr. E also kind of gives Sweet Tea that chance to give the surprise factor. All right, and Sweet Tea actually down to his last life right here. Uh, he's able to get a parry into that forward smash. So Killing strong. Killing across the stage. Crazy, crazy. Wait, so we're down to our last stock. Uh, oh it was God. fine. Pretty early. 110? Early. 100? Early 100? From, from across the stage. That's what? Early. That looks yeah, so Yeah, pull them cool. down. Grappling hook. I'm, I'm excited to go use those combos. Oh, yeah. I haven't even tried that yet. And I saw that earlier, and I was like, that is so That's cool. sick. So sick as hell. Okay, Arsene. Doesn't Yo, matter. No. Yeah, no, it threw him off, and that's what I was tell, uh, talking about earlier, where Arsene uh, automatically activates once the meter is full. Uh, it can kind of throw you off if you were like already attempting the tether recovery, and in that <sighs> case, yeah. it kind of um, stumped Sweet Tea a bit and caused him a directional air dodge. Uh, uh, Sweet Tea's second SD tonight and it was so unfortunate because I think both times it was to the air dodge, yeah. which you know. You can see happen from a lot of players, um, which is so unfortunate. Oh, oh, as air dodge mechanic. Uh, sometimes you're buffering it, and you're like, shoot, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh. Even with um. Arson. <laughs> Arson. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna go to Mementos, and this is actually the hazardless. Uh, excuse me. The, yeah, the hazardless version of Mementos. I love it with the P4 music too. I wish I could listen to it. But game number two here between Jake, uh, Sweet T, <laughs> and Mr. E. Um, and I respect that Sweet T is sticking to the Joker pick. Uh, definitely. I mean, he already tried his mains earlier in the uh, winner's bracket, and he was definitely very, very close to getting that that um, W in game number one. Unfortunately, self-destructed on the last stock. So let's see if he can pick it, pick up the pace. Arsene nearly about to be online right here. No, I definitely like it. And I like oh! What the heck? Yo. What is this movement? I'm telling you, yeah, the movement options that Joker has, that That's someone's weird. gonna do, use Joker and also like, abuse the movement. Up tilt. Okay, yeah. Mr. E at 129%. He puts himself back at the ledge. Ooh, F tilt. Not enough to get the KO. Uh, it's usually pretty strong, but it looked like he might have got like a uh, sour hitbox. Yeah. I've definitely seen it kill more often. Than Maybe it was just outside of the range. Hanging on to the first dog. Not enough uh, to kill. 
Oh, that's the Kim. Beautiful play from Sweet T right there, getting that first stock, using the gun to get that KO. Uh, downwards angled one as well. Uh-oh. I, I just realized uh, Mystery is switching marks. Yes. <laughs> and he gets the tipper forward smash, bringing himself right back. 22% to make up for here. So you see Mark has a stronger... Yeah, well, so in those situations, Lucina doesn't even have a tipper. Oh though. my gosh, okay, that, yeah, that works so low. Ivysaur number two over here. Yeah. Honestly, I think I think it might be better than Ivysaur's. I usually die with Ivysaur's recovery because I get, always get the, the dead. Yeah, sometimes I just... Um, no, that was... I almost thought... Because because Is there a hitbox on r Sand when he appears? Jesus. I know. I, I, that's what I'm like, still trying to figure out. There's still some like weird hitboxes that are happening. Uh, okay. Get out of here, hey. looking nice. <laughs> I love how tired we are. It's great. Dude, it is actually like 1 a.m. No, we've been talking today the whole time, and it actually is requires a lot of uh, time to keep on talking. Yeah, the entire time since about 9 p.m. we've been on the mic. Uh, but we're going to stick through it. This is Grand Finals, Mr. T and Sweet T. Dolphin Slash to secure that stock. Uh, still, Sweet T in the advantage right here, holding down the stage, just kind of retreating with the Ahas. Uh, hasn't really been able to land too many of them, but it, it's safe uh, pressure from a distance. Try to drag him down with the grappling hook. And Sweet T doing such a good job, actually, um, with using, you know, for Joker only being out for a couple of hours right. now. Uh, he's doing a really good job holding his own For sure. Uh, Smart. Definitely. Okay, landing up air, following up into another up air. He's able to use the Rebellion Guard, and it gave him just enough SP to activate so Arsene. Yeah, so counter from like the ledge. The counter, yeah. yeah. Uh, beating out the Genev attack. Uh, Tetra, Tetra Karin. A lot of rolling going on right now. Uh, he has to be aware of this, though, because that's exactly what Arsene is for. He wants to be able to capture get that SP. Back air out of shield, and it does it. Sweet T putting one on the board. I love it. After all, um, we got to re remember, Sweet T is coming from losers, so he's going to need to win this set and the next one to take the entire tournament. Mr. E only needing one victory here to secure that bag. That oh. one. It's 1-1. One, one. Yes, it is 1-1. One, one. Um. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm checking this on here. We are gonna see Mr. E's counter stage pick now. Um. Hopefully. Okay. Counter. That's what I'm gonna say. Maybe he'll pick the stage with good music, but we can't hear it anyway. That's like one thing that's like different. As we're not hearing yeah. music. As long as the stream is hearing the music and they're enjoying the gameplay, the commentary, the music, I'm happy. I'll, I'll sacrifice my own enjoyment. Uh, and it's not even that hard of a sacrifice because honestly, I'm having such a good time watching these sets so far, commentating the entire tournament. Again, grand finals here. Mr. E and Sweet T were one to one in this set. Yeah, no, and uh, switching it up to Town of City, what? Massive damage coming out from Mr. E. But using yeah. uh, Tetra Karin right there to secure himself a bit of a hit. Ooh. All right, they both tried to have some They did. Okay, that Tetra counter, Karin. 71 damage already. Uh, Mr. D definitely put in a lot of work, but... Um, Arsene. Arsene, yeah, definitely putting in that extra damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no worries. Um, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. I feel like an old person with amnesia right now. <laughs> Man, this is scary. And still not enough to do it. Dude, that's so crazy. So uh, it looks like Joker is able to use the gun when he's off stage and still. Uh oh, Aha? Wow. He's even well. able to use Aha yeah, while he's off stage. Yeah, super laggy. And then still use double jump, still use his grappling hook. That's pretty incredible. So Sweet T pulling up a stock right here using Rebellion Guard. Going to lose the stock nonetheless. And it do again, it does actually, as long as Arsene isn't activated, 
you keep the meter, so it doesn't re reset. Well, when you when he uh, when Sweet Tea died there, though, the S the Rebellion meter gauge or the SP meter yeah. um, actually went. Oh, this is went half, like half down. Uh. So it actually he did lose some, lose of, some of it. Yeah. Okay. But uh, only yeah, only when he died. All right, down tilt, unable to find the up, up, up air follow-up. CT doing really great work, work still on this stock. He's at a slight percent deficit. Okay, Aagon. Go oh, into the down air. What a setup. I mean, uh, forward air. <laughs> that looked good. That looked so clean, though. Yeah, that was really nice from Sweet T right here. Uh, he's up two stocks to one. He's forced Mr. E on the ledge. And Sweet T honestly looking like he wants to win this tournament. Doing a really good job here against Mr. E's Lucina. Definitely, yeah. This is the whole thing about uh, the massive familiarity that Mr. E is actually uh, popping off, moving up in his chair a little bit, really getting into the game right now. And you can tell both players are really thinking about their options uh, and their place right now. Down to the wire right now in game number three. Sweet T trailing by only 3%. He's got Mr. E off stage. He's able to make it back. Sweet T did lose. Okay, now he has a stage again. Tilt again. Again using the gun. Try to gimp this recovery. Oh, oh Aha. Uh, so close. That back air, had it connected, was the end of Mr. E on this game. Up tilt, not enough. Really big blast zone on town and city. Still, still keeping him off stage. Mr. B doing a good job here. Uh, throw, not throw not enough not either. Enough. He is going to chase him deep off stage. Look at that. He's able to maintain such good safe pressure the from disadvantage. Came up so quickly there. This is actually a really scary situation. Oh. That is enough to take a stop. And Sweet T moving up wow. two to one right here. Of course, this is from the loser side. So he needs one more game. If he wins this next game, he goes to grand finals, set number two. He earns that reset and one more chance to take the entire thing. See if, if he can uh, do it, man. Yeah, he's he's doing really well. Pressure. The way he's playing, the way he was yeah. playing from, um, obviously he's playing a different character right now, but how he played through losers finals against Aimer, it really looked like he was, he, he, it was winning, tournament winning material. That's all, that's all it is to it. I'm bringing out the joke too, I know. We're really enjoying that. Three, two, one. <laughs> It's just Go! crazy. I mean, he's going up against Mr. E right now, too. Um, this is good information for both players right now. Oh, and I think it's great sure. trying it out. But yeah, Mr. E definitely uh, not out of this. Getting these upper juggles here <clears throat> on Sweet Tea. Racking up 71% already. Okay, unable to find that grab out of shield. Okay, Woo! jump should be gone. He should be able to make it back. Arsene goes a very high distance. Taking a lot of percent though here. Oh, nice, beautiful up air. Holding shield, that was good. And yeah, the damage output again from Arsene. Um, only a couple hits on him. He had 63%. Oh, okay, that was a good pick. Okay, great pickup for Mr. E right here. Neutral air and the forward air. Swinging out there on the off stage, getting that first stock. This is where Mr. E is going to want to make it really hard. He's only at 76%. He's going to want to play super patient, as we're seeing right now, grabbing him out of that dash and just rack up the percent slowly uh, with single hits here and there, not trying to overcommit at any given moment. Yeah, and this is where um, the counter stage pick from Mr. L um, is going to be used to his advantage as well. He's going to want to um, close out this game, take it to a game five situation. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Brilliant up there right there. Mr. E living on his first life right now. That stock is definitely well in the danger zone, but he's got so many reads on Sweet T right here. And this is where he's switching up his play style. He was on that second stock, extended that first lead by a stock. He's like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty much dead. So I'm gonna go aggressive and just rack up as much damage as I, as I can before I lose this stock. He's got 72% and an entire stock between the two. Strong, nice counter. Yeah, using Rebellion Guard, uh, filling up his gauge a, a bit. 82% here, still got a lot to work with. He's already in uh, kill percent and has yet to find Mr. Wow. E's second stop. Already has enough. Arson again, though. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're down by a stock, if you're down in percent, uh, Arsen, you, it's like it's like a handicap almost. Like you're gonna get him more often. Nice, brilliant up air right there from Mr. E, and he gets the two stock to bring us to game number five. Right, this counter pick is gonna be very crucial uh, for Sweet T. He's gonna have to really think about where he's going um, because this could be the make it or break it for him to get that reset, or if he'll be knocked out. These so counter let's see. picks actually let's are really important. Yeah, so he's gonna go to Town and City. Uh, this may potentially be him switching to the Pichu. Nope, he's gonna stick it out. Yeah, I figured if he's got a wider stage, he might want to go Pichu. Yeah, no, but yeah, I get that. Why I not? I feel like maybe he just feels comfortable, comfortable yeah. with uh, Joker right now. For sure. I mean, he's brought it all the way to Game Five. Why would he not feel comfortable with the Joker? He can definitely do it right now, and he's doing it for the people as well. I mean, he's got this far. He can't. He can't give up on the character, right? Because if he gets this victory right here, he's already made a huge statement like, hey, this character, I've only been playing him for a couple of hours, and yet I'm beating Mr. E. Yeah, that's definitely going to be uh, something that a lot of fans, or not fans, but people Smash. For sure. Definitely the fans. The Sweet Tea fans, the Smash fans. <laughs> I didn't mean to say fans. And, and the, no, I mean, you were right. Uh, it is the fans. Well, the people who stick the through. People. And Up, you know, tips. Yo! They can see that counter so at the ledge. strong at Getting the ledge. Him out of here. Yeah, reading the get up attack, activating Tetra Karin and getting the stock. Already Sweet T looking really good right now. I mean, that Is he gonna get the reset? I mean, I, 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 I wanna see it at this point. I mean, it's like 1 a.m. No, I'm tired it. as hell, but you might as well, you know. Yeah, me and Make you, it a little bit longer. We both got that a long ride back, but you know what? Yeah, we're here to stick it out until the end. And, uh, oh, this is really interesting. This is a type. I'm almost like, just like, <laughs> not wanting to commentate them except this like, like, like so immersed into what's happening exactly. Yeah, dude. If 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 Sweet T takes this tournament with Joker, I I feel like he may just be a Joker main. No, he might be. It might be a you know. He used to be the DLC. The DLC warrior, yeah. yeah warrior, so. Always uh, in Smash 4, he was very well known for uh, when DLC was released. He, he started using Ryu, he started using Bayonetta, and he very often counterpicked with those characters and his Pikachu. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Uh, okay, that's that enough? Yeah, that is enough. Uh, Yo, what? Either. Wow, dude. And it looked like he canceled the tether into uh, to get back onto the stage. Showing up in top. Whoa. Whoa, what? <laughs> dude, he. Wait, he, wait, what the he, game? Used, he used the grappling hook as Arsene was activating, I think, because he didn't, he, he like, teleported to the ledge. That was wild. Uh, oh, my God. This character is so crazy. He is. I'm, I'm so ready to get here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're definitely going to be Joker main. I mean, I'm going to use it for sure. Nice. Wow, that shield break. <coughs> Such a good, um... Wow, call out for this. Yeah, 100%. And the fully charged Shield Breaker will take that stock. Oh, this is such a good spot off the stage, and it beats him out the Ooh. down air. Not enough. No. Not enough. To, no, it could have been enough. I think all he had to do was just angle it. He had to angle forward, but he angled it back, and it was unable to get back to the stage. Wow. Mr. E with the clutchest of comebacks and taking Wednesday Night Fives in game number five.
Regardless, Unbelievable, dude. That was tea, such. Yeah, bringing out Joker. I mean, I, I, if, if anything, if you want to, did you want to interview? Uh, no, any I'm of trying to go good? home. To be I know, no, no, I got you. I was like, <laughs> honestly, I mean, maybe they they could both you pop could, on you if could, you they want. Yeah. I literally just let him down air me. Oh, man. I just let him. It yeah. looked like you brain No, it, you could have made, made it back, it looked like, if right? you drifted in. Possibly. Angled it in. Yeah, I mean, I would have had to not buffer up beat.